Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylon here and today we're going to be talking about Beta Ray Bill's Voyage of Scuttlebutt event. Also, I do want to apologize a little bit for this video being slightly delayed. Uh, I'm still having some problems in real life in terms of getting my stuff unpacked and, and getting everything in order. Uh, so, you know, there's going to be a bit of uh, delays possibly on my videos over the next couple of days. They may not be as... Uh, as consistent in terms of the release and how frequently they come out. So hopefully you'll bear with me until my setup is as complete as it can be anyway. So uh, before we get into the event stuff though, there's a couple of things that I want to bring to people's attention. You may have noticed this or not anyways. I got 7,000 uh, apples in my box literally just about 15, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. So this is pretty immediate, maybe around 1 p.m. Pacific time. Today I got this for. Exactly what this is for, I'm not sure. This may have been for the amount of energy that I spent when the event went live before uh, it changed to the new version of that. So I'm going to go and claim that now. Also, don't forget that the Bounty of Asgard event is for spending apples. It's not for earning that, so make sure that you do end up doing that. I literally just cleared the event item now, so that's good for me. I might even be able to get these two Elite 5 orbs, but yeah, do make sure that you go in there anyways and you spend them. You know, whatever it is that you end up spending on it for shards or for G18 minis or whatever, just make sure you do that because that's going to be really important because yeah, and also the store does actually last for two days after the event goes down. So just to keep in mind about that, if you do need to spend them though, the milestone will be down. So you really should make sure you spend that beforehand anyways. Okay, and uh, that's I think most of it. There is some problems that we need to talk about with regards to the event because the event item for the Voyage of Scuttlebutt is gonna be very, 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 very challenging. Um, to say the least. And it's going to require a lot of blitzing on your parts. Uh, the character unlock for Beta Ray Bill, I don't think is going to be that hard. But I think in terms of the event item, the bar, for whatever reason, once again, is so, so, so high. Um, I don't know if they're going to end up changing this after the fact. And, and you will see, right? You know, a lot of the things that seem to be in this game is what it is subject to change. So you never know when they're going to apologize for putting an item so high up on the milestone list and then they end up either giving you compensation or whatever, like they did for the apples when they realized they screwed up and they increased the amount of apples that you get on campaign notes. But otherwise, if you're ready to go everybody, let's boil this down. Okay. So we're going to start here. Uh, as you guys know, I do do this subtotal thing uh, every month. I guess I could zoom in a little bit more. Uh, subtotal of all of the points available for, this is going to be balls a uh, month long for the 800,000, right? So this is the first time we have had 800,000 milestone points instead of 750K. Now, I've included everything that we know so far. There's only a few things that are missing, aka, which is probably going to be 2,000 a currency for the free claim Friday coming up this Friday, and we don't know Realm Raiders, the points for that, or Stellar Standoff, uh, which is going to be on July the 31st unless things change, and it's a three-day event, so it's not very long. We have Voyage of Scuttlebutt starting tomorrow, and that's going to be lasting for seven days, and we're going to be going straight into Realm Raiders and Stellar Standoff, which is a Cosmic Crucible event, which is going to happen next Monday. This is also an alliance-based event. So we basically only have two more blanks to fill in, and we're currently sitting at 643,000. Now this is a little bit of a problem because we're essentially almost 160,000 away from that final milestone of 800K. Now, none of the events so far have added in a, a like over, basically to get this much, a stellar standoff would have to be worth like 60,000, for example, and this would have to be worth over 100,000 or about 100,000, which I just don't see happening. The highest event that we've had this month was Mischief Returns, which was worth 62,000. Points aside from the items, because those are listed here, I've already included this into the uh, calculations. Those are already there. The actual amount of gems of Sidorak that would have to be included in the milestones on top of the item would have to be around 100,000 for Realm Raiders. And I just don't see that happening. So I wonder if this is going to be the first month where we don't actually hit the 800,000. Unless this is the new normal or they did their math improperly because, you know, they don't seem to really understand 
how to do their event math. Uh, they really need to hire someone better to do that because more often than not, they seem to get things wrong and it's just not how it's supposed to be. And a lot of us tell them in advance, you know, that that's, you know, really messed up. Anyways. That's that. So whether or not we get there is a completely another question. Now, one other thing that I want to talk about, this Worthy Warrior, which is the web milestone for the Voyage of Scuttlebutt, is there now. Now, it says it's going to start at 5 p.m. today, Sunday, except what's missing is the actual orb fragments for the Beta Ray Bill orb, which is what you need to score for this event. So uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see whether or not this actually starts uh, on time, uh, like it's suggesting here at 5 p.m. And it doesn't include any of that. There is some teal stuff, honestly, kind of garbage. You, you score for this by spending campaign energy. For the purposes of the actual event, though, we're only doing the first three milestones. We'll talk about that when we actually get into the math. But anyways, I thought this was kind of crazy because it's here, but it's not supposed to start until Monday, uh, simultaneous with the event. Now, the, the blog, on the blog, rather, for the event, if you're not aware of what you have to do, I mentioned this in the Friday blog post, you need to, this is blitzing, this is uh, Iron Fist, this is Star-Lord Annihilation, this is Iron Fist, World War II, the kind of hardcore blitzing that you're going to be looking forward to, of course, to write for seven days straight. Now, the good thing is, is that it won't be super challenging to unlock Beta Ray Bill, uh, you know, you could do this with a reasonable amount of blitzing, maybe three rotations a day, you know, so that's not hard. But what is hard is going to be the actual event item. You can see the Eternity Cape in there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. But you can see here that this is requiring 135,000 points. Now, it does go up to 300,000, but this is a lot. Unless they have upped the drop rates for the orb fragments on this event, the drop rates for the Star-Lord Annihilation was not very good. It actually had a minimum of 20. So you're going to be looking at a lot of Blitz rotations to do that. But we're going to jump into the math anyways, because that's going to be really important. So this is Voyage of Scuttlebutt. It's a seven-day event. I've listed this here just for posterity's sakes, uh, is that the Star-Lord orb had an estimated value of 2.95. Uh, this also included, actually I should mention that it did include a, a 50 drop, 50 shard drop. This was like the best shard drop in that orb, which raised this over the Iron Fist orb, which did not have a 50 shard drop. Would this be the same? Would it be different? There's a possibility, obviously, that this is not exactly the same as the Star-Lord orb. Unfortunately, because of the time that I'm recording this video, because I won't be around later, uh, it is not in the store yet. I don't know. Sometimes it goes in a little bit early. Sometimes it goes right on the launch time of the event so we can't see what the estimated value of these orbs are yet we're gonna pull these apocalypse bounty orbs at the end of the math video because I just want to see sometimes when I pull these during my videos I get some really really good luck like I did on one of my blog posts so we'll have to wait for that so again 300,000 points but those are whale stones and 135,000 is what we need for the milestone points for the event item but it is kind of high so you get a one-to-one -one, uh, conversion for the Corbinite Orb Pragmas. That's going to be what you're going to be blitzing for and going to be in the web milestones. You're also getting five points for one power core spent. Now, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to assume that you're spending 200 daily cores over seven, seven days. That's going to give you about 7,000 points towards the milestone. It's not a lot. But we're just going to include this in here because this is pretty normal. You know, you may do some additional uh, core spending because Sylvie is going to be getting unlocked on Monday at 2 p.m. as well. So if you want to kind of pull some orbs for Sylvie, that'll help. But it's not going to actually add a significant chunk to this. And I mentioned this, I think, on the Friday blog post. So if you decide to, I don't know, spend 5,000 power cores uh, for Sylvie, you know, you're going to get... 25,000 points. While it is a, a you know a good chunk towards this 135k, it's not as much as power cores were worth in the past for events. So I think they kind of nerfed that to be honest. It used to be like 10 to 1 or something like that. Now let's say, actually no, let's not say, let, this is what you're going to get. So the Corbinite Orb Fragments, the Web Milestones, if you spend 1100 every single day, which is what you should be able to do, then you're going to get 4,000 or two orbs every single day. Over the seven days, that's going to be 28,000 Orb Fragments. So let's zoom in a little bit more as well. So you're going to get 28,000 points because it's a one-to-one -one here towards the 135. So 7k plus 28k is 35k, so that leaves us with 100k. Now apparently there is a daily login. I I don't know what that's going to include. It says somewhere here in the blog post. 
somewhere right here and a special daily login calendar what that's going to be worth i honestly have no idea but in the past these have not been super significant like they help a little bit but it, you know don't expect the world out of what you're going to get out of this so it's usually not a ton so not knowing that information we have about a hundred thousand orb fragments that we have to blitz for okay and that's approximately because we don't know what the login calendar is going to be worth now on average you're going to get about 50 orb fragments per blitz win some people may dispute this you know i track this over a handful of days across a lot of the different blitzes uh both in a star lord annihilation and for iron fist you know and and that's just what i found it was the minimum drop of 20 this is what kind of made it kind of bad but there were drops like along the same trajectory like 25 30 35 on there were some pretty low numbers in there honestly where that changed from the past so we'll see if this is any different but for the purposes of this video this is what we're going to be running with and that's going to give us an idea of how many rotations that you're going to need to do uh to get the event item but also how many shards you might expect to get for beta ray bill so that's 50 average orb fragments if you use 45 teams and you win all of them you'll get approximately 2250 or fragments per rotation or you know more or less one orb per rotation you could win more because sometimes there's rng and you get high drops sometimes you could get a full orb if you're super lucky so you know that's just how it is total fragments over the four rotations and i, I have four six and eight rotations daily just because you know this is i would say four is an average amount in my opinion because that's going to be you know your your daily morning login your evening login maybe before bed and and some of the times that you you log in to pick up your energy your free claims that kind of stuff so i you know i would probably log in about four times a day to do blitzes uh, i don't really plan to do too much more but you'll see how bad it is to get these hundred thousand hundred thousand fragments to get the event item so uh, those are the numbers there uh the total rotations that you need for the event item is 44.4 so i just basically took this 10 100 000 divided by 2250 and you get 44 and a bit rotations that means you need 6.3 rotations per day okay that's a lot that is well above average in terms of just getting the event item. And I think the biggest problem with this event is that the the event item in this instance is pretty high up there. It should have been a couple of milestones back where it would have been a lot more easier to obtain, which is normally how these events are. Normally the event items for the blitzing events are easier to obtain, but if you want to get more shards for the character, in this instance Beta Ray Bill, that you would have to blitz harder, obviously. Uh, so this is one instance which is really weird where the event item is stacked up high on the milestone. Now estimated orbs to unlock beta ray bill is about 34 of these based on the 2.95 estimated value of the orb and this is approximately 68,000 fragments needed this isn't actually that bad because if you're looking to do this uh after we include the web milestones because you are getting orb fragments from that so this one up here the 28,000 I subtracted that from how much you need and it's basically 68,000 fragments left over you're looking at basically an additional two and a half uh, rotations per day if you win 45 blitz wins per rotation so that's not actually that bad you need 18 orbs after the web milestone and to get that you need two and a half uh, rotations that's just for 100 shards for an unlock for beta ray bill obviously if you want to get more shards for beta ray bill then you can look at some of these numbers so we have an estimation of you know how many shards that you would get based on the orb estimated value if you're doing four six or eight rotations daily and you can see this here so obviously it scales up right if you're willing to do four rotations daily you're kind of looking at about 134 shards could be a little bit less could be a little bit more it depends on your rng depends on your luck if you want to do six rotations daily then you're looking at pretty much a four star but with some bad luck you know you might not get this so it'll be really up to you if you're aiming for a four star though you're kind of looking at like anywhere from six to eight rotations a day you know if you want to solidify that four star for beta ray build then that's kind of what you're looking to get so if you do all of your rotations per day using the above estimates on the fragments and the estimated value of the orb then you're looking at about 227 shards if you just do nothing but that now obviously some of these things could make a difference on terms of the shards right so if we change the average orb fragments for example from 50 to 60 you know that's a 20 percent increase and therefore the numbers come down the event items required uh goes to five you know so really at the end of the day if you don't trust my numbers you know do know that you're still going to be blitzing you know over five rotations a day just to get the event item and you know depending on just just blitz your ass off if you want beta ray bill shards then you're going to want to blitz your ass off you can see that you know based on if i just improve the average drop rates a little bit then you know you can do six rotations and get a four star uh you could maybe even get a five star 
start if you do eight rotations a day and have really good luck you know so you know if you don't trust my my numbers here then just blitz as much as you can and hope for the best I guess is what I have to say, but the event item is just so high up there that this is on top of the web milestone. Assuming that you do the 1100 campaign energy per day, you're still looking at over six rotations of blitzing a day. It's crazy. Um, it shouldn't be this high in my opinion. And so my final notes here, I'm going to zoom out, see if I can get more of this actually in here. Getting beta ray bill won't be that difficult to do with a reasonable amount of blitzing. If you want more shards, then obviously you need to blitz more. The event item could be quite difficult to obtain because the high bar for this item and it's approximately 68,000 fragments to unlock Beta Ray Bill opposed to the 135,000 points that you need for the event item. And that is my biggest gripe, I think, with this video, right? Or sorry, with this event, rather, not this video, with this event is just how high up here it is. Now, usually, you know, the whale stones are only like three or four deep, maybe five deep. And so this almost suggests that unless they improve their numbers on their blitz wins and the fragment drops, or it's some sort of guaranteed value, I don't know. Like, how are we expected to get any of these things? The 150K, the 165, 180K, are we even supposed to get up here? Or are they raising the bar on the events more than they ever had in the past? Because that's kind of the impression that I'm getting. So before we end this video though, do you want to open up these Apocalypse Bounty Orbs and maybe, just maybe, they turned on dev luck for me for the purposes of this video. We're going to find out. We're going to open six. That's not good. I want the gold drop, right? What is that? Blue four ions. I want some blue fives. I need blue fives for Apocalypse. Come on. Green? Nope, that's not doing it. What is that? 30k blue five? Well, actually, that's some. It's not a lot, though, but hey, it's some. Can we get a good drop? Oh, purple! 150k blue fours, not blue fives. Now you might you guys might remember when I had that crazy drop for the blue five ions and I got 100 1.5 million actually 100k more blue five ions so that's 250k maybe come on no nope, that's not doing it oh actually it's more blue fives so hey it's better than nothing final drop and it's nothing more blue five ions but it's not a lot how many blue five ions did I get out of six orbs 190,000 my bad so not a lot but hey it's a little bit more towards my goal anyways that's going to be the end of this video everyone now if there is some changes i'll obviously make an update whether that's in the video if it's appropriate or i'll be posting on my discord make sure you're keeping up to date and if you're looking for this uh, table it will be posted on my discord of course about six to eight hours after the release of the video so otherwise uh, have a great rest of the weekend and until next time everybody stay safe and healthy and i'll see you all later boil on signing out